just for the, those watching, what do we mean by these terms? So 4E, and I, think, I, I actually think it should be 6E, but 4E has become very, uh, the way of, of, of uh, teaching. So I had, again, the great good fortune that one of my colleagues at the University of Toronto and somebody like who um, I, I would consider even a friend was Evan Thompson. Yeah. And Evan Thompson is one of the... Evan Thompson is... is an active cognition and... and uh, he, well, he, he, yeah, he, he is one of, I think, the, him and Varela, are, to my mind, are the founding figures uh, for e-cognitive science. There's a lot of other important people, like Gallagher is important. And, of course, there's prefigures in funda, people like Merleau-Ponty. But the basic idea is, well, it, spelling out the E's. The first is the idea that cognition is inherently embodied. So instead of thinking of the body as just sort of Cartesian clay that is a vehicle that is molded and moved by the mind, mm -hmm. right? What you do is you actually realize that the biology of the body is actually constitutive of cognition. And so my particular work, Relevance Realization, says, right, this very important function of being able to zero in on relevant information relies on me being a biological being, right? right? And so that's like... If I, if I don't have the bioeconomy of my body, I would be like a computer. And when a computer faces information, it doesn't care about one piece of information over Which another. AI struggles with a bit. Right? Exactly. Well, yeah. struggles yeah. with a yeah. lot. Yeah. Right. That's, that's the relevance problem. Right. And so this is the idea that cognition is inherently embodied. And then the, and going with that is the idea that it's inherently embedded. This is the idea that cognition isn't in my head. It's like it's right. So, again, it's like biology. Is an organism adaptive? Well, the adaptivity isn't in the organism. It's between the organism and the environment. The same thing with cognition. Um, it's inactive. This is Evan's uh, main idea, that what we're looking at aren't so much you know, propositional processing in a computer. What you're looking at is a dynamical system that is constantly modifying this sensory motor loop. So the mind is much more enacted than, than what we like sort of argued in your head. Right. And then the last one is extended, right. which is the idea that like, what we're doing right now, yeah. you and I together are making this conversation together, and the conversation has a, t starts to take on a life of its own, and it's solving problems that you and I can't solve individually. So cognition is extended through other people and through the environment. That would also apply to your phone or your calculator or your pencil as well. Yes, right? yeah. yes. When, right. extended. So the four E's then. So yeah. in, in cognition is embodied and embedded enacted and uh, extended. extended, yeah. And I think there should be two more. I'm curious, tell me more, yeah. Um, so I think one of the things that's become really central is that we should think of cognition as emotional, because what we've done is tended to separate cognition and emotion into these... Uh, yes, separate uh, right, things, right, yeah, yeah, sure. That's action. what I meant by cognitive science, by the way, as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And so this is to you know, to see that emotion, right, affect broadly, it, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Is, broad, is deeply... Again, back to relevance realization. I have to care about this information and not care about that information. Right. And then, uh, exactly. Yeah, when it comes to political psychology, the emotional aspect of cognition is particularly important. I oh, guess. well, yeah. and for all of it, I think also for the sapiential and uh, right, having to do with wisdom, because, I mean, Socrates was much more about well, what do you care about? Right. What do you care? Not so much just your arguments, but because often the arguments don't come to any conclusion in the dialogues. What, what's at stake here? Yeah, what do you care? And he's trying to reorient people to what they care about. The last one is um, exapted. Um, this comes from the work of Michael Anderson and the idea that cognition is uh, like you, you, air, they, computer metaphors are used. Like you have circuits that um, either evolved or are or, or learned for doing one function yeah. Yeah. and then you co-opt them and repurpose right. them for doing other things. Right. So I, I, I played chess professionally for many years and I, although I don't use it, like I don't think of a chessboard when I'm living. I have no doubt that I've exacted something or other. From I, it. Yeah. I I think there's so, yeah. some preliminary evidence to support that. Yeah. So that's sort of the the standard for E. And then, like I say, most people in practice are yeah. are, are five E or six E. Okay.